everybody. It is me, Ace Fangirl, and I'm here. I'm sorry for those of you who follow me on Twitter. I've been so back and forth about streaming today, but I honestly wasn't sure if I'm I was sorry uh, for those of you gonna have the time and my my <laughs> stream is not on mute. That's professional. All right, it is now. <laughs> um so I'm not sure exactly uh what I want to stream tonight. So I was thinking about giving some options to people. I don't know. This is going to be a very, very chill stream. Uh, I'm not really, uh, just kind of hanging out. It's fun. I think I might start, at least, with some, um, why does it still look so blurry? I hate that. Oh, maybe it's just because my quality sucks. That could be it. <laughs> uh, you guys love me. You know me. You love me. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Um, we we could play we could play some Jackbox, but since there aren't a lot of us here, uh, I feel like that would that would be a waste of time. Um, we could play some Chrono Trigger, but we we saw how well that went last time, aka not well. So if you want to see some, you know flailing around we could do that um we could just have a chill night and i could just play minecraft and talk to you guys i would be more than happy to do that uh or we could play something completely different so uh, i welcome welcome your input oh we're starting to get some people we're starting to get some people coming in i think um so yeah put put your put your opinions in the chat um and i will definitely take them into account because i'm not sure what i want to do I, I just kind of wanted to stream tonight because I'm not doing anything else and I want to avoid studying for the LSAT because let's be real, no one wants to do that. Um, I don't want to study for the LSAT. Oh, is my mic quiet? Let me, let me fix that. Um, let me make myself louder. Oh, yes, I did see that. I totally forgot um, about that. I wasn't at home when I saw your comment. And uh, then I completely spaced out. So let me grab that for you, since I think the other few of you here are already in the Discord. Let me grab that. Copy and... Oh, there you go. Never mind. James posted it for you. Uh, that's, that's fine. I mean, not James. Why did I think you were James? I was just talking to my friend James. Um, so that's why. <laughs> um, it probably is the right one. I don't think I've changed it at all. Oh, it has mag in it. Like, magfest. And then JK. That's not a good sign. Um, yeah. So, well, what do you guys, what do you guys want to do tonight? Uh, we can, we can do any of the things that I said previously. Or something else. I don't really care. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, I'm such a dork, but I just wanted to stream, and then I sat in front of my computer, and I was like, what did I want to do? I don't know. I could do Chrono Trigger, but I, like, just did that, so I don't know if I want to do that again right now, or if I, I should switch it up a little bit, and plus, I don't know how many of you were here for the last Chrono Trigger stream, but it was, like, a hot mess. Um, so, yeah. Let me get that out of here. All right. So I shall wait for your input because I require it. <laughs> also, does my mic sound better? Because that's that's important. Um, so you can actually like hear me doing things. Looks like it looks pretty. I do have the mystery dungeon option. Uh, I'm gonna have to figure out. I haven't formatted that. Um yet on, on my stream so uh, I, I can I can play Mystery Dungeon tonight I, I was originally planning on not starting another big game like at the at the same time as I was doing Chrono Trigger but if that's if that's what we want to do then we can do that uh, I'm, I'm down for that also I, but I actually kind of wanted Twy to be here um, for that because he's going to be the one that's helping me through it for the most part so I, I do kind of want to wait until Twy comes to do um, Pokemon. It's also only fair because he was the one that recommended it to me. So <laughs> I feel like that's fair. Um, 
but we can we can do that if you guys want or we can just hang out it's just awkward <laughs> it's fun you guys love me <laughs> let's see i'm looking through my looking through my steam library right now for something fun to play unless you guys want to see me do the mini games in chrono trigger more because i'm gonna need to do them i got really close last time but it, i didn't get them i don't know if any of you guys have played chrono trigger and know what i'm talking about but um the the like the first set of mini games in the the carnival like festival place i could not get past them i don't have rocket league actually so i can't play rocket league um <laughs> i've seen people play it but i don't personally own it we've played it on a game cola live stream a few um a, a few months back oh man was that like last year that might have been last year on our last um christmas in july live stream also y'all should keep um an eye out on game cola's twitch page because we all might be streaming on um on saturday yeah i know i can count on you guys in chat don't worry i do know that but I know that that was a game special to Twy because he recommended it for me and he really wanted me to do it. So I just don't want to do it without him being here. Or at least, you know, giving him the opportunity. I don't want to just start it without him and be like, oh, sorry, Twy. Like, I, I did it without you. That, I feel like that's kind of rude. Uh, let's see. I could play. Um, I have Game Dev Tycoon. That's a fun, chill game to play. I don't know if you guys have seen that, but that's a pretty fun game. Let's see. Or, or, since the game is out now, we could do, um, if we want to do, like, a visual novel style game, we could do, um, the, this game I reviewed for Game Cola that's pretty fun. Um, it's kind of, like, it's hard to explain, but um, my editor-in-chief forwarded me the link for the game saying that um, because the uh, developer described it to him as 99 or like uh, the Zero Escape series meets Hats of a Boyfriend and hi McBall um, but I uh, hi Anna also and uh, so that, that would be fun or uh, you know I'm, I'm very open to suggestions let's see I'm looking at my Steam library right now trying to find something fun um, I could play Binding of Isaac, but I suck at that. I can't play that because that's my next LP. <laughs> Spoilers! Um, let me think. I am a professional streamer. It's not Deponia, Anna. It's the game I just reviewed on Game of Cola a while back. And I'm serious, you should just play Deponia if you want to. On, um... It's not Pony Island. I have heard the stories about that game. I keep clicking to windows that I don't want to click to so I can see you guys while I'm looking. I'm not gonna kill you. I'm, I'm not. I'm not gonna kill you. Well, we have more people here now, so we could always do Jackbox. Um... Or do I still have the, um... Do I still have the Steam card? Oh yeah, there it is. I'd have to install it again. Ooh, you're almost finished, Hatsaful, on mobile. Oh, Ryota's root is great. I love Ryota. And then, um... And then... Bad Boys Love. Yeah, good luck. I'm gonna turn on some music in the background. While we're doing this, I have no idea what it's gonna be. Ryota is the best. I agree. While we're while we're talking, I'm gonna turn some music on in the back. I'm gonna find something to turn on. Except I'm gonna turn it down so it's not super loud. Why am I getting all the music one or the the ones with words? Or the intense ones. I don't necessarily want an intense track. 
I just wanted some nice. Man! When shuffle doesn't work for you. No, I hate that case. Uh, what am I feeling? Fine, I'll search manually for a good song while we talk about what we want to do. Oh no, no, not like that. That's not how I'm going to do it, actually. <laughs> now that everyone's talking about it's my boyfriend. Because, of course. I mean, I feel like it wouldn't be... It wouldn't be accurate if we didn't talk about how to have a boyfriend in my chat. Yeah, here we go. Now it's like way louder than me though. We'll turn on some Emma music in the background while we're talking. This is like my favorite song from um, Spirit of Justice. It's amazing. <laughs> So good. Uh, I hope Stardew multiplayer is released soon. I would love to do streams with Anna on um, with Stardew multiplayer. That'd be fun. Um, let's see. Does anyone does anyone have any uh, strong opinions on what we should do? I'm j or I'm just gonna sit here and dance to this music. That's fine too. I'm just dancing right now. Um, let's see. What should we do? You you want to see the 999 Hatful thing? Uh, we can do that. It is a game that I got a review copy for. It's it's pretty interesting. We can do it. I've only ever actually gotten one ending um of it, but apparently it's like Hatful status in that it has um like multiple endings and stuff. So it's kind of crazy. And also, um, it is a dating sim. We're dating dragons. <laughs> we can do that. Uh, I, I think it's pretty fun. Let's see. Let me pull that up. I'm going to have to re-download it real quick. Let me make sure I put this track on loop. Dang it. So that we can have some great music. Yeah, I told you about it, Anna, because I thought you would like it. And I stand by that, actually. So now you can see it on here, and you can see if you'd like it. Uh, just gonna install it really quickly, so we can we can all just talk <laughs> while it installs. It's very good. Like I do recommend that y'all go check it out. I'm gonna change the uh, the stream title to it right now, so uh, you should refresh in a minute to see all the information. But the game is called Angels with Scaly Wings. And uh, it's very, very good. Um, I do like it a lot. It was really fun. And I said after I reviewed it that I was going to um, play it. Oops, not in the chat. Um, I said afterwards that I was going to play it more and get more endings. So maybe we can do that uh, together now. Boyfriend plus zero escape. And we are... Alright, update information. It's updated. Aw, yeah. I think it is cool. It is a cool game. I'm just gonna tweet out that we're gonna stream something new tonight. We'll come back to Chrono Trigger when I'm feeling more up to it. <laughs> and also, I, I kinda wanna wait until... Uh, until Nathaniel is here, because Chrono Trigger is kind of his game. Let's see. Angels with scaly wings. So, from what I understood while we're waiting for it to download, um, it's kind of like the craziness of Hats of a Boyfriend with like the intriguing story of Zero Escape. So that's why I liked it, I think, so much. 
what's not, what not what's not to live what's not to love and then i'll just throw my url i'm so professional you guys i'm so happy that you put up with me i didn't know we were going to be streaming this tonight or i would have downloaded it ahead of time but i didn't do that I love when I misspell my name as Ace Fab Girl, and I'm like, where's the lie, TBH? All right, let me check on the progress. All right, it's it's actually going kind of slow, um, but that's okay. We can just hang out for a little while. Uh, let's see, there are 63 achievements in this game, and I have locked 16 of them. I am only a quarter of the way through this game. Is that crazy or what? And it actually took me a long time to play through. Like, let me see how many hours I've spent. I've spent four hours on this game already, and I only got a quarter of the way through. So that's kind of crazy to me. Um, also, if you're expecting me to do voices, I'm sorry. I'm absolutely terrible at voices. So, um, yeah, don't expect too much from me on the voice front. Is the song getting getting old yet? I don't know. I like Emma, so we can I can switch it up, though. Let's see, let me let me find something to switch it up to. Uh where is the, okay, wait, I know what I want. I know what I want. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <sighs> Feeling it. <laughs> oh, you guys, I'm such a dork. I'm so sorry this is so boring right now, but um, it's happening because I, I have to download the, the game. I can, uh, can change the text on this because we're not playing it, an 8-bit game today. Um, I just need to... Let's select a new font. I'm sorry I'm ruining it by singing along, huh? Um, let's see, what kind of nice font do I want? I wish it would give me previews. It didn't change. <laughs> da -na, da -da. I know everyone just keep talking amongst yourselves while I uh, while I do this. Oh, it's not changing. That's kind of sad. Do, 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 do. Well, I mean, it still looks nice. Talk, 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 talk. Um, I was trying to change it to Gabriola. That's one of my favorite fonts. And then Garamond, because that's like my second favorite font. But it, it wants to stay in the Chrono Trigger font. Probably because I'm streaming. <laughs> that's probably why. So Chrono Trigger font it is for tonight. It's fine. All right, come on, game. You can do it. You can do it. So since, uh, since I've played this game, I probably will let you guys um, make a lot of the decisions for, for this playthrough. And I'll tell you, um, I'll tell you like what's going on, like what I've done before in the past. But don't let that influence you. I want to see what kind of ending the chat will get. I got the kind of like, I think I got like the, the generic ending. Like it seemed like it was kind of the ending you were supposed to get on your first playthrough. Where you find out, oh, Twy is here now. Well, we could have done, um, we could have done Pokemon, but now we're doing this. <laughs> we're doing this instead. Um, so yeah. No, let's not kill the, well, I mean, we probably can kill the main character. I didn't die, um, when I played it. So that's, you know, a plus. <laughs> uh, anyways, yeah, I got, like, the generic ending, where it seemed like you found out some of the story, but not, like, the whole deal. So, I mean, you saw my, um, you saw my pictures. You saw my pictures of, um, you know, on the review of things that I did. 
of, of weird stuff that I did, let's be honest. Um, like, take all of those pain medications. <laughs> I did do that. It was a good thing. It was not a good thing, actually. What is my display game, Twy? Is it Angels with Scaly Wings? Because for me it is. Twy, have you played this game? Because if you did, you didn't tell me. And I'm offended by that. <laughs> Alright, come on, game. You gotta download. You're killing me here. I forgot I... I don't remember, um... D downloading this, so I don't know how that happened. Maybe it happened when my, um computer went in for repairs. Literally, we've been sitting here for 20 minutes because I am an incompetent fool. Oh, you have played this game? Oh my god, no way! I didn't think that many people um, had played this game. It's really good. Everyone should definitely go out and get it. I highly recommend. Highly, highly recommend it. Especially if, if you like craziness and good stories. And uh, I talk about this a little bit in my review. But um, the game actually gets into a lot of really interesting sociological discussions. And I was like real down for that. It was really interesting to me. Uh, you should definitely pick it up. I bet it'll go on sale for the summer sale. Um, and I bet it'll be pretty, pretty reasonable. I didn't buy it myself either. I was given a review copy. But I would buy it. <laughs> If it would, you know, if it would download faster, that would be cool. That's what, I've only done a portion of it as well, uh, Twy, so... <laughs> I am not excited for the summer sale because I'm poor. And I honestly shouldn't buy more games when I have an unopened Switch sitting on my counter. Uh, I'm gonna be busy. I need to get, um, Rockwind, though. I do. Is that how you pronounce it? I think it is. But... That, that is one game that I will be getting uh, for the summer sale, like, for sure. Uh, I'm not sure if any people are just coming in, but I am waiting for the game to download because I forgot that I de-downloaded it for some reason. I don't know why I did that. Probably because I had to make room for something else that I was playing. I think maybe it was Walking Dead. I had to make room for Walking Dead. I hope you get the job too, Anna. I'm rooting for you. You can do it, girl. I'm really proud of you already. You're adulting and stuff. So that mean I um that means I I could be skipping stuff, but I won't be skipping ahead at all cuz I have played through this once. But uh I I won't be skipping ahead at all so that you guys can see the full story. You don't like, uh, the job, Anna, that you're applying for? Haha, <laughs> de-download. I don't know, I just like the word de-downloaded. <laughs> uh, it's uninstalled, but that just sounds so boring. But yeah, I know, work is, work is rough. Oh my god, Reckless, hi! <laughs> Welcome to the stream, where I'm... I'm doing nothing except waiting for this game to download. I'm so professional. Oh my god, everyone's gonna come in and be like, Oh man, <laughs> this is gonna be a cool stream and then it's just me sitting here doing nothing. <laughs> yeah, no, I understand that, and I don't like being an adult either. I was just talking about this with my cousin yesterday when they came over. Because he's an adult and I'm like, oh, I gotta start being an adult soon. But I'm not... Okay, are we getting tired of the Edgeworth music yet? Should I switch that to you? I can switch that. Uh, let's see, what should we go with instead? Yeah, there we go. It's all gonna be Ace Attorney, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, but I'm not sorry. Twy, you're short on a computer? What happened to your computer? All right, it's still going, I promise. I'm keeping an eye on it in the corner. I am definitely keeping an eye on that. Everyone, 
Oh no, Twy. I'm so sorry. That happened. I, I'm so sorry. I'm really glad to hear that your dad is doing okay, though. And I'm definitely, uh, I'm definitely keeping you guys in my prayers. And I, I'm definitely glad that you're gonna sue them. <laughs> Nothing says, um, vengeance like some good legal action. Let me tell you. <laughs> I'm sorry, I just like legal action. <laughs> What can I say? I'm pre-law, and I'm gonna be an attorney. Yay! Ha! Ah, games download slow. I'm so sorry. I'm not professional. I'm a terrible streamer. What else should we talk about, friends? Um, everyone should be excited for tomorrow if you're watching this live a new um new series is coming up on my my channel okay siri thought i was talking to siri siri no i didn't say your name siri stop i just got a new phone the other day and um i upgraded from the five to the six and uh now siri thinks i'm talking to him like all the time because I, I put that Hey Siri feature on. Oh, it didn't go off that time. <laughs> uh, don't I know about MacBook repairs, Twy? I feel you on that. I totally feel you. It is a thing that happens. Make sure, um, make sure you keep track of it, too. Like, they give you a tracking um, website, and so that was the only way that I knew that they were gonna jack up the prices on my laptop repairs. And that sucked a whole lot. Yeah, did, I'm really glad that you backed yours up because, um, yeah. That's another life lesson brought to you by Ace Fangirl. Always back up your stuff because your my phone wasn't backed up either. And yeah. <laughs> it's cause I was out of iCloud space. And I couldn't back it up. We're just, we're just hanging out while we're waiting for the game to download. It's a good time. Yeah, I've lost my files more than once though, so that's like not fun. And you'd think I would know better by this point, but I don't. I just live on the edge. Oh no, your phone got run over. That happened to one of my friends. Also my mom. Um, my mom is like really notorious for losing her phone. Um, and one time when I was younger, it was back still in the era of like flip phones. Um, we were leaving church and my mom put, my, my littlest sister was still really little. So we brought like you know, like baby books for her to read at mass so she wouldn't like start crying in the middle. And so it was like, you know, like those cardboard books. So my mom set some of those and her phone on the back of the car and uh, definitely forgot about them and drove away. And so, uh, yeah, then my we got back home and the books were still on the back of the car, but my mom's phone was gone. Uh, that, was a, that was a thing. Also, my mom has left her phone in the backyard before when she was um, walking, like when she was working in the garden and forgot where she left her phone. So we had to buy her a new phone. And then like a month later, we found her phone <laughs> in the backyard, like sitting on the garden ledge. We were like, mom, your phones are here. It's okay. It was funny though, cause the guy at the Apple store when I was getting my new phone um, was like teaching my dad how to do all this stuff on his phone. And he like never knew any of this stuff. And it was, I didn't know it either cause I've never had an iPhone six before. So the phone that I got rid of was my first um, iPhone ever that I got like four years ago. I've never broken an iPhone. I've broken an iPad, but that's another story. <laughs> Let's see how we're doing, 60%. We're past the halfway point. It's good. Let's see. Let's let's switch up the music again. While we uh while we stand here 
Oh wait, I'll read your story. A friend dropped a two-day-old phone in a public restroom toilet. No. Oh god, that's disgusting. I no, I do not blame him either. I would no. There's no way I'd put my hand in there. That's yeah, Anna. That's what I did. I dropped mine uh, on a uh, phone, or uh, I dropped it on a on a phone. I dropped my iPad on a tile floor as well. That is what I did to mine. My, uh, my headphones got stuck on the door handle of my bathroom. And uh, it, it fell. And it was sad that that happened, actually. Um, let's see, what should we switch it up to? There we go, we'll switch it to the, the crane, crane, crane theme. Yeah, those were the old days. You dropped your iPad 2 on a street? Oh no, did someone run over it? That could be a thing. Curb? Oof. Out of your car. That's rough. I am sure that that probably broke. <laughs> Alright, come on, game. 65%. It's okay, we have good tunes and good stories to keep us company. I mean, I dropped my iPhone 5, like, a million times, and it never broke. I just bought a new case for it, too, which sucks, because I broke my case. Um, which, I mean, doesn't seem like an issue, but I like to, I'm one of those people that likes to have, like, the wallet cases where you put your ID in it, so that way, if I'm going out, I can just have, like, my, my credit card and my, fo or my ID. And so then I don't have to worry about it. But it broke, so I just bought, like, a new phone case. And uh, now it doesn't fit my new 6, so that kind of sucked. <laughs> it's lame. But, and I'm still looking for a, um, for a case for my new 6. I've got a bunch of um, video game cases that I want. In the running are uh, is one Mystic Messenger case, one really cute random retro case that was in the video game sections, but it's not a video game case. It was weird. Uh, two different Xenoblade cases and three different Life is Strange cases. And uh, one ra another random case that I thought was really cute. So I'm trying to decide which one I want. I couldn't find any cute Ace Attorney cases, so that was sad. But I really like one of the Xenoblade cases, so that might, might get it. I might get that one. But I also really like the Life is Strange cases. They were really cool. Yeah, and that was what I did. Once my um, my last case broke, I kept messing with it, and that's why I had to get a new one. Because it was really annoying. <laughs> when it just kept... Okay, 71, 71. We're doing good, friends. I really liked this music in the game. It's very nice. It's good investigation music. To just, like, hang out to. Doop, doop. I don't know, someone, I need to think of something else to talk about. I'm not that good at thinking of things to talk about. Uh, last night I recorded a vlog, and then today I accidentally deleted the vlog. So, uh, yeah. You want one of my phone cases? Uh, I can, I can post some, maybe I'll post some links on Twitter later to get people's opinions and, and ask them to help me decide. So, we'll see. I don't know, I've been asking my family, but they, like, don't like video games so they just think they're all weird and they won't um they won't give me a good opinion on them they like the life is strange ones because they say those are the least nerdy looking and i'm like thanks <laughs> like i don't know i want a, a cute case this time usually my cases are pretty boring so i want i want actually one that i might like let's see what else should i talk about oh my vlog i recorded a vlog last night and then i accidentally deleted it today when i was getting rid of old dandelion uh, media files, so that kind of sucked. Um, but I am editing a new dandelion. We're almost done with uh, with dandelion, which is kind of crazy for right now. Oh, I gave the hints um, in my new for my new LP in that vlog. I'm going to have to remember to do that again. <laughs> uh, let's see. It was a very awkward vlog anyway, so it's probably fine. I thought about recording it again today, and then I just look like a wreck. So I'm going to wait till I actually look nice. 
um, to do it. <laughs> Let's see. New series coming out tomorrow. Hope you guys will, will give that a try. It's actually um, kind of ironic because I've been planning this series for a while. And then uh, I feel like I feel like Lukajin might have stolen my thunder with her recent streams. <laughs> um, so that's all I'll say about that. But I haven't actually watched um, Lukajin's stream from yesterday yet. So uh, don't don't spoil it for me. But I know that she finished the game. So we'll see. You're going to miss Sandlion after it's over? Don't worry about that too soon, because we, we still have one more pathway to go. So that's going to be another at least probably eight week stretch, because there is going to be a bad ending run. It's not going to be like GN's, which is, was really short, because there wasn't a bad ending. Um, it'll be another like 10 to 12 episode. This one will be 14 episodes, um, I think. Let's see, 81%. Yeah, this... Um, Jihei and then I believe probably Jisoo as well will both be 14 episodes. Um, well, I would recommend not watching The Dandelion if you think you're going to play it, Anna. <laughs> I don't know if everyone here has watched, uh, has watched Dandelion, but, um, if you have, throw your favorite Dandelion, uh, character in the chat. I'm, I'm not going to say my favorite. I'm going to save it for the debriefing. Also because I'm I'm not sure my favorites will stay the same. Um, given if I if I decide I like Jisoo better. I don't feel like that's going to happen. I feel like he's not my type. Even though I think he's the hottest. But I feel like Jisoo's not my type. So. Uh, see I, I can't. I can't. I don't feel like a relationship between me and Jihei would be like actually practical. Because he's a way better person than me. And uh. I, yeah, it's not a it's not a good series if you're low on time. The episodes are pretty long, but um, that's why I do them so that way you can just like stop in the middle and then come back. I thought about for a while about fast forwarding um, the the parts where it's just like me doing stuff, uh, but I don't I don't want to in case there's someone like playing along and wants to see like how I'm managing everything because the style management can be kind of difficult. So I do want to actually make it like a plate, a walkthrough kind of in case someone needs advice on what to do. Uh, the white rabbit is Jian. That's who I did last, if that's who you're talking about, because the white and silver rabbits are kind of similar um, looking. A lot of people get them mixed up, but um, Jian is great. <laughs> I wasn't expecting to like him as much as I did, but I really, really enjoyed his, his um, his uh, playthrough, uh, not playthrough, Root. The mother is quite the character, I agree. The the mother, I can't, yeah. I'm afraid she's gonna pop back up at the end of this one, but I feel like we have enough conflict with the fangirls, so I feel like it might be fine, like we might be okay. She's, she's just gonna stay away. <laughs> the only character where she was really, um, uh, the only route where she was like really, really active was, um, was Jiwoo's route, and that was where she like, came to my house without warning it was like yo and I was like hey I have five guys living with me what's going on <laughs> and then that was awkward just like in real life oh, I haven't been watching Stephen Amell's Pikmin to be honest I'm very behind actually I was very behind and then once I got home for the summer I was able to start catching up until I was um was good pretty much I'm watching a lot of old stuff now Either stuff that was my favorites. Okay, we're at 91. We're almost there. Um, either stuff that was like my favorite LPs or just stuff that I never got around to watching. See, McBall, I love that too. But I wasn't sure if I could get around like how young he was. <laughs> like, or how long young he looks. Um, I'm very, I, I'm, if you ask Noelle, um, she can always pick out which guy I'm going to like in an anime because if there's one that like doesn't, show a lot of emotion not because they're stuck up but just because they're like impassive that would be the guy that i go for for the most part um because that's kind of my type so not gonna lie or or sometimes the stuck up ones but there's like a limit to that um i've actually ironically never played pitman pitman pikmin but i do i've watched um i think all of chega conroy's lps and I like them. Uh, I liked them too. Oh, that's true. I mean, for me, I was a little bit older than him, but I guess for a, for a 
young one like yourself, it wouldn't be as much of a problem. But he just looks like a child. Oh my god, wait until you see what the fangirls say about him in an upcoming episode. It is going to be good. It, we've, like, it goes down. Also, does everyone, uh, the bad, the bad ending, uh, you know, uh, for, for Jihei was pretty intense. <laughs> I won't spoil anything in case someone's gonna watch it that, that hasn't watched it yet, but it was, uh, it was a trip. Let's be real. Uh, let's see how we're doing. 97, guys, we're almost there. Almost there. I promise. Don't leave. <laughs> I'm gonna post again in like the Discord chat to say like I'm actually starting now and like apologize five million times to you guys. I'm so sorry. But I didn't know what I was gonna want to do. And before I offered this one, I definitely thought I still had it downloaded. So that's awkward. So I'm very sorry. Please forgive me. I hope someone makes Dandelion a bridge. <laughs> My um, one of like one of my big oh Steam has finished downloading. One of my biggest ambitions in life is for someone to make like a funniest moments of me, just so I can see like all the times that I've been stupid. Um, I would really like that. I'm not saying that any of you like need to do that, but I'm just saying it would be a great thing if someone were to do that. Okay, let me stop the music. And uh, let me let me open the game and then get it all situated on my. I forget if this launches full screen or not. I don't think it does. Doop, doop, doop. Oh, I just made noise with my... I've been messing... I have a... um, My desk door in front of me has a handle on it. I've been messing with it the whole time. So if you hear like a rattling or like a clicking noise, that's what it is. <laughs> it's just me. Come on, game. Oh, good. It doesn't launch in... Okay, let me... Pull up my OBS. That's the game, fam. It's just the game. It has killer music, too. All right, let me. All right, you're gonna have to tell me how the music sounds. It has super intense, oh no, wait, the cutscene. We're gonna have to start the cutscene over because the cutscene's actually kind of important. Can I, okay, if I just click through it, and then if I just leave it, it should start again. Okay, let me, see, it's very, it's very, uh, it's very 999, Virtue's Last Reward, in that, um, respect. Okay, sure. Let me, now let me, sorry, it's gonna be messy for a minute. Let me just fix it up real quickly. Okay. Uh, okay. That looks odd. I'm going to make you guys a little bit smaller. Sorry. All right. I think that looks good. Okay. I think that looks all right. On. I'm just gonna make sure I need to make sure I can see you guys too. Actually, I think I'm gonna make the window a little bit smaller. I'm gonna resize this. Hold on. Oh, that made it look weird. That made it look weird. But I can make it bigger now. <laughs> We're gonna do some letterbox shish. Hold on, I'm just situating the windows a little bit. All right, how does this look? How does it sound? What do you guys think? Um, I think it, it sounds pretty good. I just need to make sure my voice is not significantly okay. The music's kind of quiet. Let me move it up a little bit. Uh, how do I make... Uh, I want to go back to that cutscene. Oh, I can crop out letterbox. Duh. Thanks, Twy. I'm stupid. Maybe it was for the experience. <laughs> okay. Let me see if I can make it. Well, 
that's that's a thing. Oh no, I don't want to cover you guys. All right, there we go. That looks all right. Okay, get out of here. How do I? Dang it! How do I leave this? Oh, there was an X button that I couldn't see. Because <laughs> I had my I had pushed over too far. Alright, uh, I don't want to show you. So, I think um, we're just going to have to go without the cutscene for now. Because I don't know how to make it replay. Which kind of sucks. I don't want to go into gallery because I don't want you guys to see it and be spoiled. Because, like, there's actually some spoiler stuff in there. So I don't want to deal with that. All right, let me just post in all the places. That is what we're doing. Now we're starting. All right, here we go. Here we go. We're actually starting now. Professional streams here. I could relaunch. That would be a you know great way to solve the problem. I'm just not sure if it's gonna save my window setting. So I'm, I might have to fix it. So if you see it, um, if you see it moving around during the cutscene, I apologize. <laughs> but um, professional streams here, friends. I I wow. I got an item in my inventory just for for like being cool. I guess. I don't really know why I got that. <laughs> For opening the game again, maybe? This game gives you a lot of items. Oh, okay. Let me see. How does that look? Oh, it looks good. It looks good. How exciting. Just gonna... Just... Did, that, did that mess it up? Oh my god, I forgot that Shinji Hosoe did this music. Oh wait, I think it might have... Let me make sure. Okay, I may have to fix some stuff. Because once I relaunched it, I actually fixed it. But I'll let's watch this first. Look at this! It's so cool! <laughs> It's off on the side now. I'm gonna have to fix this. Hold on, fam. Dun dun! This is what we're playing! Alright, let me see. Oh, actually, it's not that bad. One of the words was just looked off the side there for a second, but that was weird. Uh, I think that looks pretty good. For some reason, now that I've reopened it, it cut the letterboxes for me, too, so... Weird. So yeah, alright, I think we're ready to go. <laughs> Is everyone ready? I think everyone's ready. Are you ready to start a new game? Aw, oh, man, I'm super excited to show you guys this game. We might not be able to get through it in one sitting, because it's actually kind of long. There is an Anna in the game. I actually didn't get to see too much of her on my playthrough, so maybe that'll, that'll change this time. Um, in case you guys weren't here for this, I did say I think I'm going to be letting the chat make a lot of the choices um, this time, because I have actually played this game before, and there are multiple endings, so I kind of got like the basic ending, but to be honest, I don't remember what I did. So, to get it, it was a while back. So, uh, I'll, I'll probably let you guys make a lot of the decisions, because there, most of the decisions involve, um... No, we're not gonna kill in-game Anna, that's not cool. Good evening, Shogun, I hope you're doing well. Um, we are probably not- well, I don't know what's gonna happen, actually. Um, most of the decisions involve, like, which kind of characters you want to spend time with. So, um, it, it'll be, like, who you guys want to see. Um... Who you guys want to see more of that's that's who we will we'll go with but uh i think we can stop waffling now that we've wasted now that i've been streaming for 
50 minutes exactly and we can just go let's that seems like a good idea let's let's do that continue oh is it gonna do this because i've already i've already done it oh god okay no this is the beginning though so it's fine chapter one drama <laughs> i don't know if it's drama but they show you like these tarot cards at the beginning of the chapters and i think that's supposed to represent like decisions you've made so, since this is the second- wait. Oh, it didn't show me the- No, wait a minute. Wait a minute. It didn't show me the, the cool stuff. Do I have to delete all my data? I may have to. Wait, hold on. Hmm. Yes. Hang on, I may actually have to delete my data. Because if it doesn't... I want you guys to have the full experience. Because mm. it's very important. Aw, is it not gonna... It's not gonna let me do that. That's kind of lame. I want like a new game. I don't want to continue my journey. But, like, it's kind of important. I can do my best to explain it, I guess, but... Hmm, that's upsetting. Okay, what do you guys want me to do? I don't actually know if there's a way I can erase my data on here. It doesn't look like there is a way built into the game for me to erase my data. So, I could try and go in manually and do it, which will probably mess everything up because it's me. Or I can try and explain it to you based on my memory of several months ago um, of when I last played this game. But not get into spoilers. Or just like of everything that's happened before this, because I think this is starting from the second day. And you and you haven't missed too much, but you just missed, like, me getting here. If anyone knows, like, an easy da easy way to delete Steam data that will not lead to me breaking the game, that would be cool, because it's, like, kind of important. It's like 999 status. Like, you, you want to experience it. You just want me to explain it? Thank God, I'm going to see if anyone else has an opinion. I wasn't aware that it was going to do this. I thought it would let you start back over every single time. Although, I guess in retrospect, it does matter. Because you're supposed to play the game multiple times. So, like, things will probably be different from what you would get on your first playthrough. Because I've played it before. Okay, I can just... I can try to explain it. So, basically... The premise of this game is that we are a human race that is probably pretty far in the future. Um, and we are communicating. Is Twitch misbehaving? Is that is, is Twitch misbehaving? That's rude of Twitch if it's misbehaving. I hope it's not, though. That would be sad. Um, so basically... We are a human race communicating with this new race that we just found, a race of dragons, because they have this kind of like un like limited green energy source, and we really need that because the world that we're living in is like really polluted and stuff. So we agreed to trade them um, like human knowledge. So I have like a flash drive or something, I think, of like a bunch of human knowledge that we've we've accumulated over the past however thousand many thousands of years, and um, they are going to give us some energy generators. We've developed like a transporter that that transports things through. So I came through last night, and like a bunch of weird things happened, and then they just like it's it's not normal, um, I guess. Uh, hi Noel. <laughs> I don't know what else here. Um, so basically, 
I am the second person to go through this portal. The first person was a guy I went to school with. His name is Reza, and he's been living here for a while. So, like, hopefully, um, we're gonna meet up with him, I guess. I didn't really know him all that well before, but, like, we went to school together. Also, I, the main character, has a double major in biology and sociology, which is hella cool. So, now you're, you're basically caught up, and if anything, if anything comes up, I will explain it as we go further, because hopefully I'll remember it myself. Does that make sense? I hope so. Um, you know what? Hold on. I got a plan. You know what we're gonna do? And by, by we, I mean me, because, um, I can, I can do this. We're gonna, um, I'm just gonna run to Game Cola real quick and check my review and <laughs> refresh my memory. Because it's actually pretty, the premise of this game is actually pretty important. See, professional streaming right here, 10 out of 10. Professional streams. All right. Let me see. All right, so. My, my, my synopsis says, and I am reading it to you straight from my game Cola review. Angels with Scaly Wings tells the story of a portal that connects to another world filled with an intelligent race of dragons. You, as an ambassador for humanity, are the second person sent through this portal, tasked with trading a PDA filled with centuries of human knowledge for a number of the dragon's generators, a completely clean energy source that the human world desperately needs. The first human sent through the portal, Reza, is a guy you briefly met in school, but immediately pulls you aside. Oh, okay, wait, I think that's going to still happen. Blah, blah, blah. So that's, that's the premise of the game. You are now filled in. I'm not sure why the top of the screen is blue. We're just gonna keep going. Ahem. <clears throat> Gotta get my reading voice on. I awoke from uneasy dreams looking at an unfamiliar ceiling. Just for a moment, I wondered where I was before the events of last night all came back to me. After good- oh, I was hoping it was gonna say what happened last night and all of that was completely... After a good stretch, I looked around the room illuminated by sunlight coming in from the window. If this is a dating sim, where are the hotties? We haven't met them yet. Um, illuminated by the sunlight coming in from the window. Outside in the distance, the portal I had emerged from probably stood on the peak of a small hill. Getting ready, I noticed something lying on the table. It was the note Remy had left for me in case I needed anything. Remy was the dragon that came to get me from the portal, and he helped me find, um, my, my house where I'm living. Um, I think he works at the, I think he's the one that works at the library. He's really, he's a nice guy. Along with his own phone, no, home phone number and work number, there were also some numbers for delivery of food and other necessities, as well as emergency and even janitorial services. He had certainly thought of everything, even though I now had to wonder what a dragon plumber might look like. Oh, the doorbell. My musings were interrupted when the doorbell rang. When I opened the door, I was met by another dragon. Hello, sir. How's it going? Hello, you must be Diana. I'm so Shut up, Noelle. <laughs> I'm Sebastian, and I'll be your escort, or security, I suppose. Usually I work for the police, though. Nice to meet you. He seemed a lot smaller than Remy, and when he somewhat nervously extended his arm toward me, I noticed that he apparently only walked on his hind legs, the two forelimbs instead having distinct arms, hands, and fingers. That's not the case for all dragons. Some of them walk on all fours. And this guy's a lot smaller than the ones we've seen so far. Oh no, what should we do? What should we do? Cultural norms. We don't know the cultural norms here. Uh. Help. Well, I don't even remember what I did last time. I think I shook his hand last time. What should I do, fam? Should I shake his hand? Man, the delay is gonna kill this. <laughs> This is a very minor decision. I'm gonna shake his hand, because I think it's nice. When I took his hand into mine to shake it gently, I could feel the individual bumps and scales on his rough skin. Nice to meet you too, Sebastian. So where are you taking me? Straight to business, eh? We're gonna go visit the plant where they're making your generators. They have some news for you, or so I've heard. Razor will be there too. Sounds great. Just follow me. We are going out. Oh, look at this nice park. No, Noelle. Noelle's, and I'm not taking Noelle's suggestions. 
While we walked, I was under the impression that we were purposefully avoiding the busier parts of town, instead straying toward the edges and small alleys so as not to garner too much attention. Even then, we got the occasional stare. Because humans are not normal here, just so we remember. Everyone's a dragon? Just saying. After just a couple of minutes, we arrived at our destination where we were met by Reza, as well as yet another dragon, a vicious looking beast that didn't stay too close to him. Woo! What's up, Reza? Dang! And then he gets less cute. Hey. Reza, long time no see. How true that is. Good to finally see another human face around here. What a coincidence to have you, of all people, show up. Yeah, I guess those degrees aren't so useless after all. By the way, who's your friend? Just my bodyguard. Same as yours. Don't bother with him. He doesn't talk too much. I bet he'd win in a fight with mine, though. Ooh, should I sass him? Yes, Noel, this is a dragon dating sim. Effectively. Kinda. Hmm. Ooh, I'm getting some sick, like, percussion in my headphones right now. I feel like that's mean. What do you mean this looks yaoi? I love the music in this game so much. Sass him? Yeah, that's what I thought. That's what I would do in real life. Just like you. Very funny. I don't actually know if we can... We could date him. I wish we could. I don't think we can, though. The two dragons exchanged a few words as I met the gaze of the larger, tenebrous, tenebrous? Dragon. No, I'm not gonna fight him. A few paces from us, Sebastian turned toward me and spoke up again. Hey, Diana, this is Maverick. Nice to meet you. Yeah, whatever. You don't expect me to give you any special treatment like everyone else's, and we'll be good. Alright, rude. What are you talking about? So you're saying you haven't noticed the stairs and how they all treat you like you're the next messiah or something? Honestly, no. I haven't really interacted with anyone. <laughs> no, I just thought... We're not the ones making a big deal out of this. You are. We're just here to get what we agreed on and then we'll be gone. If anything, I'd actually prefer if you left us alone, but you're the one who insists on following me around wherever I go. Savage. Oh, uh-oh. Fight, 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 fight. <laughs> You guys, we are gonna fight. A growl escaped the darker dragon's trembling lips as he bared his teeth at Reza. All right, all right, that's quite enough. Let's all just go inside sh already, shall we? After you. Uh, even though I'm the girl, I should be going first. Chivalry. The crisis was quickly averted as we entered the building, which was characterized by its many floors, high ceilings, and long, narrow hallways as Sebastian led us to our destination. <gasps> girl! Look who it is! There you are, I was waiting for you. Girl, what's going on? I miss you. Wait a minute, I thought we were going to meet the guys from production. What are you doing here? They're only coming in later today, so you'll just have to make do with me. I see. Well, Diana, this is Anna. Hey, girl. She kind of manages this building, though actually she's more involved with the research wing rather than production and engineering. This is our girl, Anna. Anna, you're so cute. I love your cute little webbed ear things. Those are real trendy. Nice to meet you. My pleasure. I have something for you, by the way. It'll take them a while to make all the generators we promised, but we've got one for you here. Feel free to send it home and give it a test. That's great. I'll take it. Wow, Reza, just jumping in there. Hashtag rude looks a little small if you ask me don't underestimate its power oh and do be careful not to drop it sure i'll be waiting outside while you do your thing diana i will do my thing i suppose i'll wait for you outside as well okay bye everyone just leaving what thing oh have you brought the pda of course here you go all right now to give this thing a test run the pda lit up as her hands swiftly moved across its interface in calculated motions by the way, would you consider letting me run some tests on you as well? It would only take a drop of your blood. Uh, girl, I don't know about that. What? Why? I work in biology, so obviously this kind of thing would be very interesting to us. I'd share the results with you, of course. Uh, <laughs> uh, 
Last time I know that I didn't. But if you guys want me to, then I will. I just, I don't know if I'm comfortable with that. Cause like, uh, that's a little sketchy and I don't know what you're gonna do. Also, yeah, this game is like supposed to be taking place in the future maybe and we still use PDAs, like what is that? Not public display of affection. The other kind of PDA, you dummy. I don't know, man. This is tough. What do you guys want me to do? She she does swap my blood. It's it's kind of alarming, to be honest. I I don't think she's a vampire. I think she just wants to do do tests. Sure, do it. Oh my god, fine. I actually don't know what this is gonna entail in because I never did this before. Great. She was quick to produce a small device from a drawer. Where is there a drawer in this hallway? I don't know. Which from a glance reminded me a lot of a test tube. Why is she blushing? Now if you'll give me your hand, please. As I reached out to her, she took my hand into hers before she pressed the device into the back of my hand. I winced as pain jolted through my hand. Something sharp drove itself into my skin, and shortly afterwards, a droplet of blood was sucked into the tube attached to the small needle. I call you that because I love you, girl. I love you, Noel. Thanks. You're welcome. Yay, I got an achievement. Blood donation. I gave Anna my blood with a little weirdly realistic looking blood emoji. I hope that does not come back to bite me. <laughs> Looks like your PDA is good, by the way. So we're just about done here. And since we're both in biology, it could be interesting if you wanted to meet me some other time as well. Here's my number. Oh, we got those digits. We got those digits. We did it. All right. Sick. See you soon. Okay, bye. Bye, girl. Well, that was interesting. Did she asked you for your blood, too. Yeah. Did you give it to her? Oh, should I lie? Should I lie to him? He's probably not going to like me if I say I gave it to her because he doesn't seem to trust them. Um, maybe I should lie to him. Yeah, it looks funny with the scale overlay over his face. Kinda. Not gonna lie. Hmm. Should I lie? Oh, I got lie and don't lie. I need a tiebreaker. Uh. You guys, you went 50 50 on this. Noel, what should I do? I lied. I need your input. Do I lie or do I not lie? He could probably kill us. That's probably true, to be honest. Oh, I just did something really creepy. Um, you guys suck. Why did you pick opposite answers? Guys, I need more input. I didn't get this option the first time because I don't, th or at least I don't think I did because I didn't give her my blood. So I had no need to decide whether to lie to him or not. Ah, Noel. So mean. Uh, I'm not gonna lie to him. Oh, wait, I just lied to him. <laughs> Whoops. I didn't mean to do that. Whoops. Uh, well. <laughs> I can't read. It's fine. I, I clicked no, like, no, I'm not gonna lie to him, but I actually meant no, as in I lied. Well, that was a mistake. Oh, well. Me neither. I mean, if we're gonna give them our body, let's not do it for free, right? Uh huh, yeah, sure. Sure. I'm getting hungry. How about some breakfast? Same. I'm all for it. I can't stand early mornings like this. Same. Shouldn't be a problem. It's a cafe not far from here. What do you say, Mavers? I wouldn't mind to grab a bite myself. Did you call me Ma Mavers? That settles it then. <laughs> Mavers. My records indicate you have already s experienced this section in a satisfactory manner. If you wish we could skip sections. No, I don't want to. Oh yeah, because there's a puzzle here. Yeah. No, I don't want to though because I want to show the people. We'll never skip important choices. Okay, good. 
No. As you wish. Okay, good. Luckily for us, the cafe was mostly empty when we arrived, as it was still pretty early in the day. Raze was quick to lead me to a table for two, prompting the dragons to get one of their own at the other side of the restaurant. Ugh, finally. I can't stand that guy being on my tail the damn time. Hmm, maybe he just likes you. I'm gonna sass him. We were approached by an individual who appeared to be the waitress of the cafe. She was an interesting looking dragon who, unlike the others I'd seen so far, was more akin to a wyvern. Possessing two rather large wings as her forelimbs, which resembled those of an oversized bat. Hey girl, how you doing? Oh, it's the humans. <laughs> Wait, where? <laughs> oh, it's just... Wow, okay, that's too mean. I'm not gonna be mean. <laughs> Wait, where? Oh, was that not funny? Oh, okay, she thought it was funny. Razor didn't think it was funny. I thought it was funny. It's so mean. It's good. That's a good one. Welcome to our establishment. My name's Adine, and I'll be your waitress today. What can I bring you to? Ooh, what do we want? Oh man, I think I just got coffee last time, because that's what I would actually do. Should I get food, guys? You guys feeling breakfast? He is really short, you're right. Um, I actually didn't see much of a Dean on my last playthrough. I met up with her, like, right near the end of my last playthrough, which was weird. Like, because I hadn't seen her. I spent time with a specific character that we haven't met yet. But she is really cute, I agree. I love her little green marking. She's adorable. Um, let's get the special. I'm gonna get the special. Yeah, me too. Just to make it quick. Razor, you don't have to be so rude to everyone. Sure thing, two specials coming right up. I don't know what it is, but, you know, live on the edge. As I was saying, if you look at the big picture, don't you think there's just something off about this whole place? Where is it really? If this is supposed to be a completely separate place from Earth, or even a different dimension, some things just don't add up. Don't you think so too? Let me just grab my tinfoil hat real quick. Oh, I'm just gonna savage, savagely make fun of him the whole time. I've been here much longer than you've been. Maybe you'll see soon enough. I can't really say much more with you know who over there. He's probably listening to us right now. What a creep. Yeah, he's a charming fellow. When I let my gaze wander, I saw- Wander, not wonder. Wander. I saw that Maverick was looking in my direction. Our eyes met briefly, his expression not showing any discernible emotion, while I wondered whether it had just been a coincidence or if he really was able to hear us from the distance. I do have some theories, and I'm right. If I'm right, we may be in trouble. What kind of trouble? What are you talking about? Shh, be quiet. I'll let you know more as soon as I can. But for now, let's just play along. After all, we already have one of these babies. He patted the generator's box for emphasis. God knows we'll need them. Oh, there she comes. The female returned, astounding me with her ability to balance the dishes on the edge of her wings. She placed the forelimb, her forelimb on the table and proceeded to move the dishes from her wing to us with a gentle push of her snout. There you go. Watch out, it's hot. Oh, what? This is so rude! Thanks. You're welcome. <laughs> now shoe scaly face. That's so mean. Apparently today's special consists of an odd-looking fish of some sort. I was a little hesitant to try it, but considering the steam coming from it, it was probably better to wait a few minutes anyway. When the waitress brought out meals to the two dragons across the cafe and exchanged a few words with them, Razor leaned forward and whispered something to me. I'll send you a letter with a coded message later. You know what to do. Razor rose from his seat before he made it known to me that he still had a few things to do and left the restaurant, followed shortly after by the larger of the two dragons. You're not even going to eat your food, bro? Are, do I have to pay for this? Did you just dine and dash on me? Alright, bye. But you haven't even touched your fish. I wasn't in a hurry, so I spent a few more minutes in contemplation while I looked out the window. Not that this whole situation was already bizarre enough, there was also now the vague sense of danger conveyed by Ray's earlier words. I don't even have an idea what kind of threat might be lurking out there. Eventually, I took a bite of my somewhat unusual breakfast. While I already thought the smell was quite peculiar, the taste had been even worse. I imagined it might be the kind of delicacy that had an acquired taste, one that I certainly hadn't acquired yet. I decided to get outside before it was too late. Sounds good. Let's leave. Are you done? Sure am. How'd you like it? I'll just say it's probably not for me. And you wouldn't be the only one to say that. You better wait outside just in case it decides to come up again. Ew, am I gonna puke? 
You tried the odd looking fish. Oh, I got an achie another achievement. Bravery. <laughs> See, you get achievements for like everything in this game, which is why I don't think you really want to skip anything. Like, and plus it's, the dialogue is great, so sure thing. I stepped outside, taking in the scenery of this strangely familiar world. In the short time I was here, I'd already found the similarities between their world and our own utterly fascinating. After all, we were talking about an unmatched place with a never-before-seen form of life. As far as discoveries were concerned, even something as simple as a new unicellular organism or even bacteria would have been remarkable. So this is where it loses me, because I'm if, the, if I was a bio major, I'm sure this would be fascinating. But I'm, I'm not. <laughs> so I'm, I much prefer the sociological discussions. Yet here I was, standing in the middle of a village, evidently built by this race of intelligent talking dragons, with a society not unlike our own. Raza didn't seem to share the same interest, and instead was more smitten with the generator, but given our reasons for coming here in the first place, I couldn't blame him for his enthusiasm being focused on something else. My thoughts were interrupted as something suddenly zipped past me just a little too close, causing me to stumble back. It was a rather small dragon with a bag clamped in its maw who apparently had somewhere to be. Oh, she's so cute! Ah, oh, I love her. She's adorable. I regained my footing and watched as it disappeared into the distance. Even though I'd seen enough dragons to recognize their variations in size, color, and other attributes, I guess this one must have been the juvenile of its species. Shortly afterwards, Sebastian joined me outside, having taken care of the tab. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't even eat it. That's so sad. I gave her a generous tip on your behalf. I hope you don't mind. Of course not, as long as I don't have to pay the bill. <laughs> How nice of you. In any case, now that you've given us the PDA and Reza has the generator, you're free for today. So if you want to go anywhere in particular, let me know, or I could show you around town. I was tempted to be giving a tour, but considering Reza's words, I wanted to be careful and not stray too far without knowing more about this world first. I think I'll stay home for today. I still have to get used to everything, you know? Lame! I'll just accompany you back then. Here we are. Home sweet home, for now at least. Well, if you need anything, I'll be outside until my shift ends. You're gonna stand outside my door? The music is so good. Otherwise, I'll see you tomorrow. Thanks, see you tomorrow. See ya. That was a lot of see ya's that just happened. I hadn't re- oh, this is my favorite one. I hadn't really looked at the apartment much, so I spent the rest of the day investigating it and relaxing. I considered checking out some of the phone numbers Rami had left for me, but I thought it was better to keep a low profile for now. I found the kitchen fully stocked with plenty of groceries, though the variety was wasted on me. I hadn't been a particularly good cook in the first place, but what was more, I didn't even recognize some of the things I found there. Great job, Noelle! You bought your pre-show tickets? I'm excited. Whether they were edibles that we had back home that I just didn't know about, or something completely alien, I wasn't sure. But I didn't want to take the risk of eating anything I didn't know. Probably a good idea. After all, it was possible that some of the comestibles... Nice word. Might be fine for them to eat, but still be poisonous to us. I was also glad to find a shelf that was filled to the brim with a variety of books. Same. Hashtag relatable. While I found the subject matter of man, myth, or reality to be quite intriguing, I had to give up after just a few pages due to its exceptionally dry writing style, which I wasn't inclined to enjoy at the moment. In the end, I settled for an adventure, adventure novel about a dragon archaeologist who stumbles upon the remains of a long-lost human civilization, after which she's hunted by an evil organization who wants to use the found magical artifacts for its own nefarious purposes. Reference? While entertaining, I had to admit it reminded me a little too much of the trashy novels we had at home. I certainly found it amusing that certain tropes were not really unique to us as a species, though I wonder whether this kind of literature had fallen into disfavor here as I had back where I'd come from. I was reading a particularly exciting scene in which a hero, Sheridan, uses one of the magical artifacts shaped like a pair of human hands holding a scepter with a globe at the top to prevent himself from being plushed, crushed, not flushed, and ground to a bloody pulp by an ancient human temple's moving walls when I suddenly heard the doorbell ring. Oh, hello? Is someone here at my home? Oh, hello! You have a kind of creepy look on your face, I'm not gonna lie, but, I mean, that's fine. Hello there, would you please sign here? I'm not signing away my rights with this, am I? I've got a letter for you that requires signature confirmation. I see. 
Looking over the clipboard the small dragon was holding up to me, I saw that the center of the letter in question was Reza. There you go. I'm Lauren, by the way. Would you mind if I asked you a few questions? What is this about? I'm just making small talk. Wait a minute, I recognize you. You tried to do the same thing with Reza. Maybe I should report you to your superiors for your inappropriate behavior towards your clients. But it's important. Please just let me talk to Diana for a few more, uh, blah, 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 a few minutes. You know how it is. If you want an interview with one of the humans, you'll have to get permission from the proper authorities. Help me out here, Diana. As an ambassador, you care about the accurate portrayal of humans in the media, don't you? Then you should talk to me. Otherwise, someone will fill in the blanks and who knows what they will come up with. Uh, who makes these games? Are you asking about this game or are you just asking sarcastically? Uh, because this game was made by... Well, I don't have it on here. But they've, um... It's in my, it's in my article. Wait, oh, I still have it pulled up. This game was made by Radical Fi. That is the answer to your question. The small dragon opened his bag, rummaged through a number of letters and small packages. Huh. I think I lost it. Anyway, I wanted to show you some pictures of what people think humans look like. On some of them, they have like four heads and look nothing like you. It's crazy. What are you, Laura? I'm a reporter. No, I'm just... Do you want me to remove him, Diana? Is what he's saying true? Yeah, I guess. I see. That sounds pretty interesting, though. All right, you can leave your number here and maybe I'll call you later, but that's all I can promise. Man, I am just getting those digits today. Thank you, thank you so much. He quickly produced a small sheet of paper and scribbled his number on it. Afterwards, he sheepishly presented it with both hands. All right, you got what you wanted. Off you go now. Bye. The door was the other direction, I think, but that's fine. Eee! Oh, he was so excited to talk to me. That's really cute, actually. Sorry about that. Don't worry about it. I guess that should be all. I'll see you tomorrow then. Right. Oh wait, I just did those backwards. With all the commotion, I almost forgot that I was also still holding Ray's letter. With the p within the plain envelope was a similarly plain sheet of paper with his hand with bleh, 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 with his handwriting. When I started reading it, however, I saw that his wording was so full of the pleasantries I knew he hated that I assumed every word of it was faked as to conceal its true intent. He did mention that I know what to do, but I was unsure of how I was supposed to decode the letter's secret message. Okay, bye, Anna. Have a good night. Thanks for stopping by. Uh, I didn't uh, remember ever having a conversation about this topic with him, but yet he still relied on me to be able to blah, 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 to remember whatever it was I was missing. Or he thought that I would just be able to figure it out on my own? This is what it said. Hello, my dear friend. I hope this letter reaches you swiftly and in good condition. Unfortunately, we were not able to catch up earlier, so I wanted to write you this letter. How have you been the past few years? What have you been doing? How's the family? I feel like there's so much we should talk about. We've not seen each other much recently. At least we have the chance to do so in this form. Quite an exciting venture we are on now, right? How have you liked it here so far? Made any dragon friends yet? Ha ha. Anyways, I will be looking forward to your reply soon. Best regards, Reza. Various things came to mind. Only reading certain words or letters was one that I thought of immediately, but I couldn't make out anything after trying to find a system within its arrays of letters and lines. Maybe I had to look more carefully. Uh, I don't know if I don't know if anything else actually helps you. I came to the conclusion that the secret message said that Reza wanted me to plant Sebastian's murders. Uh. I actually know what it says, but I think it'll tell you. Have a pizza party. Uh, I didn't think any of these were right. Find out. I like plan Sebastian's murder. Find out what it says. Hmm. It is a puzzle, and I remember solving it before, and I thought I knew the answer, but I don't see the answer on there. Huh. 
哈哈。Dang it, I remember solving this before. Now I feel silly. Um, oh, no, 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 no. Not what I wanted to do. <laughs> I still want to go with this one. But I don't think that's right. <laughs> Shoot up! Oh, dang it! Too far. No wait, no wait, no wait. Want some more options? I also would like to have a pizza party. I think that would be super fun, and uh, that we should we should do that. Well, okay. I feel like it's go through the portal because last time I thought it told me to um to meet him at the portal but is it different this time because it's a second playthrough mcball have you played this game before hang on and, uh, i don't want to click like if i click unable to decode is it gonna be like oh you suck and then like Not let me do it. <laughs> For lack of a better term. Wow, this is absolutely riveting comment. Like commentary. I still I just I thought it was something. Oh, you haven't played this game? Okay. Cause that's that's true, Razor is never nice. Um I definitely thought it was one thing, but the thing that I thought it was is not on here. So that, that makes me really mad. Um, I'm gonna say that I can't decode it right now and we'll see if I can look, <laughs> read between the lines. Let's look at the bookshelf. No, there's just a bunch of really funny books here, but I don't think there's anything else here. I think it's just purely to do with the puzzle. <laughs> this is what I did! Pain meds! Take them! It didn't tell me not to! Because they're pain meds. Hey! For children, don't do this. Don't take a punch of medication. Ah, <laughs> uh, so funny. Oh no. Oh no, I just thought it would be funny. Oh, oh, wait, I know what I have to do. Never mind. It does have to do with the apartment. Oh, did I just eat that? Oh, I didn't really want to do that. Look at the meat. Look at the milk. Crack open an egg. Nope. Maybe this time. Maybe this time. This time? Okay, but what about this time? Okay, no. Look in the pantry. Lemon. There we go. That's what I had to do. <laughs> I thought it was like an actual code, but no. 
Oh, I forgot to read. I was sitting next to him in class and we learned that. He made a joke about using the method to cheat on the next test, and I replied by saying he'd have to bring an iron. Had he really expected me to remember a random chemistry class that happened years ago? But then I did remember it, after all. Meet me at the portal tonight, 10 p.m., was all the message said. I wasted a good amount of time, but I still had some left before I'd have to go out to meet Reza, so I decided to make some lunch. Afterwards, I resumed reading my book about the continuing adventures of Sheridan and her exploits in destroying cultural artifacts. Unsurprisingly, it came to a happy end, with the evil organization stopped in its tracks, at least for now. I thought the ending was deliberately left open for ambiguity, but when I turned the page and saw the advertisement for the next entry in this apparently long-running series of books, I realized all this had just been a ploy to set up the inevitable sequel. Luckily, the disappointment didn't last long, as I had to get going to meet Reza at the portal. When I got outside, it didn't seem quite as dark as it was when I arrived yesterday. I might have had difficulties finding my way otherwise, but I could still see the portal in the distance. As I was walking, I wondered if anyone was following me, but the land seemed oddly deserted. Was everyone already asleep? Eventually, I arrived at my destination. Razor was already standing idly by the portal, his fidgeting making it obvious that he had waited just for me. I was already wondering whether you'd get it at all. What did you expect? What a wonderful night it is. Just look up at the stars. You can see them so clearly here, without all the pollution lingering in the air like back home. Almost as if we were looking right into the face of eternity itself. For so long, humanity thought we'd find aliens out there. Yet after all these years, we found we were still so alone, or we found we were still alone in the universe. Or thought we were just not looking at the right place. What's going on, Reza? Why did you call me here at this time? For one, because we're sending the generator home. Right. Before I was sent here, they told me they would limit the use of the portal, as they couldn't afford to keep it open all the time. In order to keep contact with us and to enable us to send things over to them, the portal would be open for just a quarter of an hour each day. Sending something back home wasn't really problematic for us, since the high energy expenditure associated with sending bigger objects only affected the sender, not the receiver. However, this me also meant that until all business was concluded in regards to our trade with the PDAs and the generators, we were basically stuck here. As for the other, do you know what this place is? You said something about trouble. How much danger are we in, really? More than enough, I'm afraid. Oh, bleh. more than enough. I'm afraid this whole place will be gone soon. And we'd better not be here when it happens. Bye, Noel. Catch you later. Just spit it out already. I hoped you'd see it too. But then, it took me a while to understand. And I had a head start on you. In any case. While he was speaking, my gaze wandered and fixed on some movement nearby. It's hard to make out anything, but I imagine it might have just been wind blowing through the nearby shrubbery. Except for the fact that there was no wind. Reza. This might take a while to explain, but we've got the whole night. Raise the look. He turned around to face whatever I was seeing. He squinted hard before he called out. You! How dare you follow me even here! The disturbance came closer until it became clear that it was Maverick, who had hidden nearby to listen in on our conversation. I knew you were up to no good. What were you talking about? What are you planning here, some kind of attack? Wait a minute, there's no reason for... Don't try to deny it. I heard you both talking about it in the cafe, and I saw the letter. You think I couldn't smell the lemon on it? Pathetic. You'll have to come with me to the police station now, both of you. Oh, come on, I think you're overreacting, but we'll come with you, but okay, that, you didn't even let me finish anything. Reza, what are you doing? He just shot that dragon? Reza, bad move. Do you see how much bigger he is than you? Reza, you got issues, bruh. Got issues. Uh, come on, Diana, let's get out of here. Okay, bye! Bye, bye! The dragon's side, I could see the wound where the bullet had penetrated this hide, a trickle of blood staining his dark scales in the earth beneath. Raising used the opportunity to run off in some direction, I wasn't sure which. I frantically scanned my surroundings looking for Reza, though he had already vanished into the darkness. What was I supposed to do? Run away as well? Help Maverick? I was just a diplomat, and I had no idea what was happening. Ow! Suddenly the dragon whipped around, hitting me in the guts with his thick tail. I was lifted off the ground briefly before I felt the impact of my body hitting the ground hard enough that my vision blurred almost immediately. A deafening roar battered my ears. Hello, sir. Was this his cry for help? 
I could barely move, but I found it was better not to try. As, oops. As n to not startle the wounded dragon more than he already was. It certainly would have ended badly for me if he tried anything. I heard him take a few unsecure steps before he... Or unsure, not unsecure. <laughs> That's not even a word. Before he landed down on the... Blah, 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 blah. Lay it down on the ground, panting. I'm still watching you, you know. You better not move, for your own good. If I have to get up again and come after you in this condition, I promise you I won't be nice. It took a few minutes of listening to his labored breathing before someone arrived. It was two dragons. The first I recognized as Sebastian, the other one I didn't know. I heard Sebastian and Maverick exchange a few words while the stocky fellow approached me. Hey there, friend! How's it going? Hey kid, you alright? I think I'm alright? I'm Bryce, the chief of police in this town. Can you tell me what happened? Uh, hmm, who do I want to blame? Because technically both of these are true, for the record. Hmm... Who do I want to blame? I don't know. I feel- I mean, both of them are technically true. I'm gonna go- I'm gonna go with Maverick first, see how that works. Is that so? His face was stern and seemingly lost in thought as I overheard Sebastian's conversation. Yeah, but you're the flyer on duty. We probably won't find him now. Not here in the darkness at any rate. Hi, Dwight. Welcome back. You missed some action. Well, that's just brilliant. Someone fill Twy in on what he missed. What do you think, Chief? Diana, can you walk? Oh, the doggo wanted attention. That's perfectly fine. That's important. Yeah, I think so. Alright, Sebastian, take Diane to the apartment, get us some help here from Maverick, and then we'll look for Reza. Right on. Come on, Diane, I'll help you out. I was still shaken up by the events I just witnessed when I arrived at my apartment. Not knowing anything better to do, I soon fell into a deep slumber. Passing out, cause I'm tired. The next day, I awoke with many questions lingering in my head. I considered calling someone from the police department to ask about Reza and Maverick, but in the end I decided against doing so, as I was sure they would contact me if they had anything to tell me. I knew it was no use worrying about it for now, so I settled for starting another book. It didn't take very long though before the doorbell rang. Who is it? Oh hi! You came to my house? There's nothing to see here. Did Bryce, the chief of police, take it upon himself to escort me today? Oh, it's you again. Are you surprised? No, but I guess it'll mean bad news. Afraid so. How are you holding up? Better than yesterday, that's for sure. Let's go for a walk then, shall we? Sure. This time I was taken along a different route than yesterday. And I was quite sure, <laughs> me neither, Twy, that there was more to this than just taking a walk. I'll just go ahead and guess he didn't find Reza. Yeah, we hoped he would have come back on his own by now. Do you have any idea where he might be? Maybe he mentioned some sort of place in particular that holds some meaning to him? No, not really. We didn't get a chance to talk much yesterday at all before... Before shit went down. There's that too. I have no idea why Reza would have done anything like that. I had the impression they weren't very fond of each other, but this... How is he, by the way? Oh, Maverick's doing fine, but there's plenty of blame to go around. You're right, they didn't particularly like each other. In his statement, Maverick said he suspected Reza of planning some sort of attack. Do you know anything about that? No, he only told me that something was going to happen, not that he was planning anything. At least that was the impression that I got. He's suspecting you too, by the way. That you both planned this all from the beginning. No, that wouldn't make sense. Actually, none of this is making any sense. Why would we go through all the lengths of our agreement only to jeopardize it by doing something like this? You already have our PDA, and we don't have much to show for it yet. If we had any nefarious plans, this wouldn't have been a very good idea. You have a good point. I believe you. But from our side, we've only have Maverick's word on the whole matter. After all, he was the one who spent the most time with Reza since he arrived here. 
But even then, he didn't really have any reason to follow you yesterday, and his behavior was completely out of line. I'm just glad you came out fine. If he wasn't on mandatory sick leave, he would be suspended right now. We'll have to wait until this whole thing is over before we decide what to do with him. I can assure you, this won't be taken lightly. Well, I don't want to go this far. That's a little extra. Yeah, Reza did kind of ruin everything. Like, Reza, come on. But I mean, also, I'm not advocating shooting the dragon. But like, the dragon was going to take a sin for literally nothing, and that would have been awkward. Yeah, I know, we've already talked about the PDA in 2017, and I think this is supposed to take place even farther in the future. I guess we went back to using PDAs. Um... I'm gonna, I'm gonna be neutral. I'm gonna be neutral. Maybe they both acted in the heat of the moment. You don't know. Maybe. We still got quite a lot on our hands now, though. We have a wounded dragon and a missing human. This could lead to a diplomatic crisis. Maybe Reza will show up soon. We can get all this behind us. I hope so, too. I really wouldn't want to jeopardize anything over this unfortunate incident. Yeah, how about we both just keep quiet about this whole thing for now? After all, I don't think any of us wants our people panicking about this already, right? I merely nodded in agreement. All right, we're keeping it under wraps. Under wraps. Ooh, this is cool. Eventually, we arrived at the police station, where the chief took my formal statement in regards to yesterday's events. He asked me about Reza and Maverick, too. Not that I knew much of anything that preceded yesterday's events or the mysterious catastrophe Reza had mentioned. Afterwards, he thanked me and left, me, left to file my statement while I sat by his table, waiting and listening to the goings-on of this small provincial town police department. When he returned, he was approached by someone who seemed to have urgent news. A lot of talking between the two ensued that I couldn't make out from my position. This went on for a bit until Bryce returned to me. Fred, I have more bad news for you. Ray's has officially become a murder suspect. <gasps> what? Murder? M m m murder We're headed to the crime scene and hope to come with us. Me? A crime scene? I don't really know much about forensics. It's just that you're the only link to Razor we have. Consider what he said would happen to us. It's in all our interests that we find him as soon as possible. And if he has anything to do with it, you might be able to help us find him. Your cooperation would certainly be appreciated. It would be a nice gesture to show us that you're trustworthy in the eyes of those who might think otherwise after what happened yesterday. Yo, it was not my fault what happened yesterday. Can I just remind you of that? Will you help us? Yeah, sure. I don't have anything better to do. I suppose I don't really have much choice here, but you're right. We've got to find Reza, and if that's what it takes, then I'll do it. Very well. Let's go, then. We're going to a crime scene! On our way to the crime scene, he tried to prepare me for what would come. I'd studied biology, so I was familiar with the sight of dead animals. Asking myself how similar this would be, I wondered if my reaction would be any different if it wasn't a dragon, but a human corpse I'd be seeing. When we arrived, we were met by Sebastian, who gave us an overview of the whole situation. This morning, the victim was found by a delivery flyer for a restaurant. Blood loss from multiple wounds are the likely cause of death. Forensics is already here, so feel free to poke around. Okay, bye. Bye, see you later. A few paces in front of us, the unfortunate victim lay on the ground, covered by a sheet that concealed the body, but not the large red stain beneath. We approached, while Sebastian went off to deter any curious onlookers. I know it won't be pretty. I'm sorry for putting you through this, but you know what's at stake here. Just remember what I told you. You should be fine. All right. You ready? Just do it! Oh, Death. Is everyone else having video loading problems? Hmm. Let me see what I can do about this. Okay. This might cause the stream to cut out. Don't. Don't panic if it does. Oh. Has it passed? Should I not do anything? I think I could 